How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here. It's been a little while since I've made a video and you can probably tell by my voice that I'm a little bit sick, but I thought that today fresh air would do me good. So I'm out here at the lake. What we're going to do today is test out whether or not we need to turn off those downward vision position sensors on our drones when we're flying over water. Sometimes the ripples and things like that can affect the way that the drone behaves, hovers, or stays in one place. Okay, just turned on the controller I'm using my iPhone 7 Plus as a display. I'm turn this on and we're gonna go forward and we're gonna get low enough so that the Mavic Pro is actually gonna be affected by the water. So uh, probably not gonna go any higher than this. I'm gonna lower it, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna hold still. And let's, let's watch it bob up and down. So we can see already, it's not breeze that's, that's affecting the height of this. I'm not touching the controls right now. That is purely the drone being affected up and down by the vision position sensors down below. Um, now, if you look at the pattern of the swirls, they're moving outward. So the drone is actually thinking it's moving okay. down because it's reading. Oh, you see that? That jumped up high. So I think I just gained about four feet just by uh, hovering above this water. I haven't touched the controls one bit. Let me bring it back down. Okay, we are really close to the water. I'm just going to keep recording. I'm not going to touch. Okay, we're rising. Ah, there we go again. Let's see if it'll go any higher. Oh, look at that. What? Did you see that? Oh, it just went forward. There it is, it just moved again. Okay, just do it again, see? Wow. Let's turn off the vision positioning sensors, downward sensors. Okay, we're gonna bring it back down to where it was, which is about two feet above the water, and we're just gonna hover. Okay, it's already climbing a little bit. It's lowering. Ooh, it's still lowering. Ooh, oh, I'm gonna have to rescue this. Wow! I did that, I had to, I had to raise it. Okay, so that would have gone in the water if I didn't rescue it. And it's still going up and down, still lowering and raising itself. Look at this. Now, one could say that the downdrafts that it's causing are blowing back up and uh, maybe affecting the way that it's flying. You know, kind of like the downdrafts are pushing back up on the drone and affecting its, uh, its altitude. Um, so in that case, maybe. But the whole idea here is that it's not being improved by turning off those downward sensors. In fact, it's making it worse. Whoa, okay, rescuing. You know, in older renditions of the Go app, I remember that it said those downward vision positioning sensors should be turned off when flying over the water or something to that effect. They have since taken that wording out of the Go app, and I wonder if maybe a firmware update had changed something on the drone, or maybe they just realized that that wasn't necessarily the fix. Now, I've also heard that the reason why these uh, downward position sensors don't work with the water is that the water actually blocks some of that ultrasound uh, emission from those sensors. So when it reaches the bottom of the lake or the water or wherever you are, uh, that ultrasound emission is actually really weak and doesn't operate as well. Okay, our vision positioning is on. Camera pointed straight down. And we're gonna see if we lose any altitude or if the uh, drone moves at all on us. Looks like we're losing altitude pretty, uh, pretty seriously here. Okay, it's doing that a lot faster than it was before. But we're climbing between, I would say, six feet and two feet, up and down, pretty quickly. Okay, now it's self-correcting, trying to get back to its original altitude. Definitely getting some more uh, intense bobbing up and down. 
Okay, vision positioning for downward sensors is now off. Whoa! Same as before, the Mavic, the Phantom, they both get really, really low. Jeez, that makes me nervous. Okay, had to save it. Not getting that close. And I think some of that bobbing might be its own prop wash. I'm willing to bet that that's the case. As it gets lower, it encounters that. Now the interesting thing is in the app here, it says that it hasn't lost much altitude. It's been hovering around 4.6, 4.9 feet, when in actuality, no. We've seen it go down much more than that. I have the drone a lot further out now, and I don't see much of a difference. I'm turning the sensors on and off, I'm moving. Um, every once in a while, the drone does move on its own accord, but for the most part, it doesn't seem to be that much different turning them on or turning them off. That actually really surprised me, because for the past forever, it seems, I've been telling people, yes, turn off the downward vision positioning sensors when flying over water, because it's going to affect your flying, it's going to affect the drone uh, and, and its ability to maintain altitude and that's, that type of thing. Well, with what we just saw, with the drone's own prop wash, it's creating more problems than it seems to be fixing. However, if you're high enough that you're not causing prop wash, then, you know, your drone isn't quite in such a precarious uh, position and it's not going to be quite so dangerous for your drone. So I think that this, flying so close to water that you're actually affecting the water surface with the drone's own prop wash, I think that is the test that I care about most. Um, now I invite other people to try, maybe it's a very windy day, maybe you're at the ocean, maybe you want to see how it reacts with actual, like, you know, waves and big ripples and white caps. I'm not really in a position to do that. It's just too still out here to really see much of that happen. Um, so I invite other people to try their own tests and see if they come to the same conclusion in other, um, you know, types of uh, locations and, and different water characteristics. But for today, flying between, I'd say two and 10 feet, uh, we're seeing that you might have better luck with vision positioning on. Uh, it's just a surprising find here. So, by the way, if you like the video, subscribe. And if you uh, see some of the accessories I'm using and kind of are interested in what they are or how I use them, check out edricker.com. I got a full list of them. All right, guys, happy flying.